Hello, this is Mike Reed, and I'm coming to you with the training video for Ansel. Ansel Fire Suppression System classes for October are coming up, and I'd like to give you a little information on them in case you are looking to, to attend or get trained on installing or maintaining these systems. Let me go into the Ansel, let's go into the Ansel schedule. Let me just show you, it is a hands-on class. Some classes are over a week long, but it is hands-on. Let me tell you, let me just tell you where it's going to be at. Before the pandemic, they used to have classes in two or three different places in the U.S. It was Marionette, Wisconsin, then there was a place on the East Coast, and they had a place on the West Coast. Since the pandemic, I've only been finding Marionette, Wisconsin. So the, let's see here. If you want to go to the Ansel Foam System class, that is October 24th through the 26th. There are 17 seats left. It's an all-day uh, thing from the 14th to the 26th, so 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. On the 26th, you do leave class at 3 p.m. in case you have to catch a flight, and I'll cover some of that later. But there are there are openings. There are 17 seats left. $750 for the Ansel Foam System class. And for those of you that are familiar, let me show you a little something. So the Ansel R102 virtual instructor-led training. Let's see here. We got some of those coming up. So the next class you have for that is going to be Yeah, September 26, which is a Tuesday. You got September 26, then you have October 10th. So you definitely want to contact Ansel if you want to get a hold of the Piranha class. Let me show you the, let me go into the other ones. All right, for the one that's in person, because there's actually two in person, they have another class that is Spanish only. I, I Unfortunately, I didn't get a chance to tell you guys about the English, the English class. Uh, the English class is, oh, let's see here. I'll touch on that in a second. Let me go. Let me give you the information that you're going to need when you get there. All right, so you're going to fly into Green Bay. It is 60 miles from the airport. Okay. Um, you're going to want to call. You're going to want to call them to to make sure you have your hotel reserved. They do have free transportation. To and from the from the fire school. Let's see here. Uh, what times? School does not get out until three. Yeah, so that's about catching your flight. They are providing you with lunch with the in person classes. You cannot bring a camera unless you have certain permission. Now, here's the most important thing. They do have to abide by OSHA standards, so you will need to bring your steel toes. You will have to bring your your helmet. I mean, not um, your headgear, your hard hat. You're gonna need your hard hat. You're gonna need your your safety glasses. You're gonna need your okay. So it's not just regular safety glasses. You're gonna need the the safety glasses with side shields. Your work gloves. Okay, you will need to bring long sleeve. 
and they run the classes. They say they run the classes, rain or shine. Okay, you do not need to bring your hard hats will be supplied at the school. But if you're already doing this work, you're already going to have your hard hats. All right, so that's some of the things you need to be aware of. You're going to need to bring your stuff. And let me get to, so you have the foam system class. That is uh, October 24th through the 26th. And then if you speak Spanish, let me show you what the Spanish class is. Let me show you, show you the screen, share with you the screen. So let me see. Let me go to find more training because there is one. I'm going to go with the, the water-based. Bear with me here. I just, I had the, I had it and then I lost it. Yeah, they had the McDonald's. All right, so real quick, they had the 102, the R102 training for McDonald's. But you have one that's coming up. It's coming up. Oh, no, no. Here. Bear with me here. I'm just going to go right into the fire school. It's about a, the classes. That, there we go. Sorry about that. Here it is. October 10th through the 12th. In Marionetta, Wisconsin. Spanish only for the fire school. The English speaking class is already taken up. So this class is $1,500. It's actually less money than the English speaking class. So you have until the, you have until the 18th to enroll for the October 10th class. In person, Marionette, Wisconsin. I told you earlier where you fly into. They have information on which hotels, but now you know what the how much the class is. Three days, you get out earlier on on the last day, on the twelfth. You're going to get out at three. That way, you can get to the airport and catch your flight back. All right, so I am going to give you guys a little a little video about the R102 fire suppression system. For all of you that are already in the business, that are already doing that kind of stuff, you can you can leave now. This is just for anybody who's who's really unfamiliar. Fire suppression system provides you with two design options. The primary is an appliance specific design where fair nozzles use, are in specific hazard areas of the appliance. This is considered the most economical design because the agent is aimed only where it is needed. Now this is nicer than the than the other ones with the fixed nozzle just in one position. The reason why this is important is uh, customers might readjust their cooking stations, and so you see on the right side of the picture where you have. Let me make this bigger. Where you have the two fryers, maybe they add three fryers or they move the fryers over to the other side and now you have to you have to reposition things. So this is this is a lot better and with the with the training with the class now you're allowed to add more nozzles and things of that nature and then do the annual testing that's required on these things. The other option is overlapping appliance protection. In this design scheme the nozzles are installed in a straight line and provide overlapping discharge patterns. Using this layout, appliances can be moved or replaced, and exactly. as long as they stay within the fire-free zone, they will be protected. In the event of an actual fire, the fusible link detection system responds rapidly to the growing heat. When the temperature rating is exceeded, the fusible link separates triggering yes. the release of a compressed gas cylinder within the Ansel release mechanism. 
And those cylinders have to be up to date. And that this little tag that you see here, that little tag has to be tested. So that, that also gets replaced every, every so often. Ansel release mechanism. Simultaneously, the compressed gas pressurizes the Ancelex agent tank and an air cylinder that trips the Ansel mechanical gas shutoff valve. The Ancelex agent is then dispensed throughout the system, rapidly knocking down the flames. And because it has a neutral pH factor, Ancelex is gentle on kitchen equipment as well. To help prevent fire reflash, the agent creates a foam blanket that inhibits the release of flammable vapors and cools the hazard area. The system can also be actuated using the manual pull station. Its bright red color makes it easily recognizable and has protective side guards to inhibit accidental actuation. The Ansel R102 Restaurant Fire Suppression System. Flexible fire protection designed for your changing needs. All right, and here is, let's see if we got it. Let me show you the, the website address for the training section on Ansel. So it's not a, it's, you can get to it from the main site, but this is the exact address going across the screen right there at the bottom. Now they have a number of systems. So they have the water suppression system and then they have the foam suppression system. So that's why they have, they have separate classes on all of those. It's a lot of money to be made in doing the installation on these. For those of you that do not know, you have to have these in retirement homes, assisted livings, uh, memory care facilities, adult daycare facilities. What we're running into now is a lot of people will buy a residential property and they will retrofit it to accommodate an assisted living facility. And in order for them to do that, they have to add these fire suppressant systems. And so now there's a lot of different foam systems that you can run. And it is it is a very, very profitable business, very profitable. But then again, then you have the, the restaurants, hotels, all those type of things. Um, and to go back with the daycare and the assisted living and the adult daycare, they have to put in a commercial kitchen. And because they have to put in a commercial kitchen into a residence, uh, they need fire suppression just like this. So it is, it is a lot of, it's a lot to, uh, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work and the money is well worth it. The money that you're going to spend. So the most expensive class is around 2,500 bucks. And then they go, they go down from there. All right. Thanks for dealing with me and trying to get this, this training information out. I'm going to get you guys more information on Ansel as those classes come out. I'm going to get you more information on Captive Air when those classes come out. Green Hex slash Accurex when those classes become available. So subscribe and uh, like, the, like the video. Thanks for bearing with me on this one.